Hello, welcome to today's Vista Points podcast, Choose Your Path, where the Vista Points staff are committed to improving the quality of life for those living with disabilities. Vista Points serves the community by providing education about special needs trust, managing accounts of clients, and partnering with a variety of nonprofit and corporate entities to better the lives of those serving with disabilities and their families. Now less about Vista Points and more about you and me. I'm Barton, the Volunteer Public Relations Liaison for Vista Points. It's one way I give back to the community. I worked as a corporate trainer and manufacturing leader for over 30 years and I've now retired. I'm living with Alzheimer's, I'm a cancer survivor, I live in the beautiful state of Tennessee, have three adult children, three grandchildren, and a wonderful girlfriend. My hobbies include music, pets, boats, and traveling. Many of you listening to my voice today either live with a disability or with a loved one living with a disability, or you know someone living with a disability. I acknowledge your personal situation, respect it, and understand it's a challenge. My role with Vista Points is to educate you about special needs trust and lead you towards a more financially predictable future. Sometimes I'll be doing all the talking. Other times I'll look forward to bringing you others who are experts in the field, such as attorneys, doctors, nurses, financial planners, and there'll be others. There'll be parents of children living with disabilities speaking to us. After all, they're walking in your shoes and they've been in your shoes. This is a way they can help others. So let's begin this podcast series with a shared understanding of what's what, who does what, when, where, and why. Whether your loved one who's living with a disability is three or 90, you must focus on today while keeping an eye on the future. One way to do this is by establishing a special needs trust. What is that you say? It's a legal agreement you can establish which allows your loved one living with a disability to continue his or her lifestyle while receiving medical and government benefits now and in the future. It, this gives you your loved one living with a disability and your family peace of mind, sense of stability, and a better quality of life. With this podcast and other services provided by Vista Points, you become part of our community of friends and families who understand how to overcome financial difficulties. A special needs trust does not require a large sum of money up front. You can start one for as little as $5,000 with Vista Points. I suggest that you find an organization which not only holds your same values, but will manage the funds for you. The bottom line reason is these professionals know what and how to manage the special needs trust funds so your loved one living with a disability can qualify or maintain his or her benefits and lifestyle. Laws change. Don't we all have better ways of spending our time than keeping up with trust laws? A special needs trust benefits your loved one living with a disability now and in the future, even after you're gone. The idea of it may sound scary. After all, I'd be apprehensive about putting my own financial future in the hands of someone, anyone else. Yet if I become aware of an amazing financial expert who could handle my finances, but I decide not to use him or her, wouldn't that be irresponsible of me? So know that I respect your rights and your choices. I'm just here to provide you with information. You decide what to do with it. Assets, such as money, are placed in an irrevocable special needs trust. Again, it's the professional's responsibility serving as trustee to know the laws and to benefit the client. We'll be talking about these rules and regulations in this podcast series, so you don't have to go blindly along. You'll be informed. Know what to expect. Know what not to do. Know what questions to ask so that you can confidently walk with your special needs trust manager through the process. Special needs trusts are for individuals of any age living with a disability, physical, mental, or intellectual. It's this person's trust 
and this person is referred to as the beneficiary. There are also trustees, managers, and a variety of professionals who are involved. You can include your attorney or Vista Points can help you find one. It's a team effort. The key team keeps each other on their game and provides insight when changes need to be made. Well, that's quite an introduction. It's a big subject. There's a lot to know, but we'll take this one step at a time. For example, there's three different types of trust, special needs trust. We'll be looking at each one of the three in this podcast. If you decide to pursue this, your special needs trust trustee will tailor the type of trust to your specific situation. One size does not fit all. In each episode, we'll discuss a different topic about the special needs trust and dig deeper into one of the topics. Hopefully it'll be easy listening. Plus the good news is you can rewind the podcast and listen again to something if I said too much all at once. No, my goal is for you to leave with a little more peace of mind and understanding. You don't need to make a decision now or ever. Just listen and learn. I'm here for you. Enjoy every day with your loved one and come back for more information when you're ready. Our new podcast episodes go live on the 1st and the 15th of every month. In the meantime, you're invited to ask questions of the VistaPoint staff online or by phone. You can send your questions on the Facebook page at Vista Points Inc. or call the office at the toll free number 888 422 4076. I'm happy to say this concludes our first episode of Choose Your Path, a Vista Points podcast. Subscribe now to stay up to date on the latest episodes, which go live on the 1st and the 15th of every month, or visit Vista Points online at vistapoints.org. You can find our episodes there. Once again, you can call the Vista Points office at 888-422-4076. This is toll free. Enjoy your day. I look forward to speaking with you again. Cheers.